Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in from the Urban Micro Farm. Well, it is day number 38, day 38, and uh, we're out here feeding these three birds in the in the uh, in the garden. And we have some concerns about that one bird that that got its foot bit. Um, it's just it's basically just a nub. It doesn't have any toes left on that foot, but it's it's kind of hobbling around. Our biggest concern is that uh, not that it wouldn't make it, but our biggest concern is that if when that coon bit it, um, did it did it transfer some kind of bacteria to that bird that would make it inedible? Um, we don't know that. We have a we have a friend who's a who's a veterinarian. Uh, we're probably going to consult her and just see what. Uh, see what she knows about that or what she thinks about that we may end up putting that bird down uh, if if that's a, a possibility of, of that bird being sick so um, no use having that in our flock now uh, what we probably will do is we'll probably bring some of the smaller birds a couple two three of the smaller birds back out from the pasture into into the uh, to the garden here just so we can have a full full six birds and then if we if we do something with that other bird then we'll replace it as well but um, the birds seem to do really well. They seem to flourish here in the garden. So why not make the most of that and, and all this available feed around here? So uh, we're going to head out to the to the uh, pasture right quick. We're going to feed some more of that fodder, and then I think we're going to go ahead and try to weigh some birds today out there on the pasture. So stand by. All right. So apparently all the birds survived the windstorm that we had yesterday. Um, it got it started blowing pretty pretty hard yesterday. So uh, but we're out here today little bit of a north breeze not much though so uh, another beautiful day out here on the pasture so what we're gonna do is uh, this middle this middle uh, tractor we're probably gonna let those birds out because I'm gonna have to maneuver it around these two big clumps of sagebrush um, and so we'll probably move those out and then we'll just move it and then we'll uh, we'll just scoot the other ones along with the birds in it um, when we're all done once we started feeding uh, we'll uh, we'll weigh a couple of these birds and uh, see what they look like. All right, so as we were uh, as we were making ready to move this farthest east tractor, um, I walk over and I see I see this, which those look like little chicken feathers, and I see that one of them has some blood on it. Uh, so we're we're trying to solve the mystery of where these feathers could have come from, and I'm I have no no idea where it could have. So as we walk around the back here, now we put a brick here just because all the birds were wanting to get out. But we walk around the back and we walk around the back, and we can see where some kind of critter has dug dug down right here now he didn't it whatever it was didn't make it all the way in but they they did some digging here and they were apparently able to snag at least one of them out of here i don't know if we can count them but uh one of them just got out and, it waited for it. and uh i think what happened was it it dug this hole out and then one of them kind of came close enough and it snagged it i'm i'm guessing i'm guessing a coyote or a fox uh so we're kind of at a at a loss of what we're gonna do here. But Mandy thinks it's time for an electric fence. I don't know. Um, I don't know that that's the case. I think if this thing would have been more, a little more flat, having to turn it, having to turn it like I did, put it over a little hump. So we're gonna, we're gonna take them straight again. Uh, problem is, now whatever that critter is, knows where there's a free meal. So we're gonna have to be cautious of that. Let's just walk around and see if, oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. We had, we had, it tried to get under this corner too. It didn't make it, but it, it tried to get under. So, and then she's saying, so, so yeah, look at this, whatever we had here. Ooh, and it ate, look at it, tried to eat Look at there. that, that's impressive. Yeah, All right, so, so whatever it is here, got a hold of, look at that, just chewed off the corner of that fence, so. I don't know, I'm guessing, I'm guessing a coyote or a fox just because it wasn't really effective at digging. So, so I don't know if it's electric fence time. I, maybe it's just time to set another trap out here. Um, now the, the problem I run into with the, uh, with setting a trap out here is I know because of the tennis balls we found around here that some of these, some of these people 
uh, they uh, walk their dogs out here. So I'm in a bit of a bit of a conundrum there because I don't know what we do. So uh, let us look around here a little bit and we'll catch up. I think I gave the other ones way too much. <laughs> Oh, they like that. Okay, so ready to count? I think their favorite part is the little white root system. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Okay, we need to weigh a couple. It's set in the box. Come on. Not working. <laughs> No, it's just not working because of the... Oh, it's not flat. He's squirming around. Two, point, two pounds, one ounce, point two five. Sure. Two pounds, one ounce. So that's a big one. Two pounds, one ounce. Sure. Hey, calm down. It's okay. So 13... 13 point... Four or five, so not quite, not even a pound yet. So. Wow. But that's one of the small ones. I say we take her home. Yeah. Just because. Is that and this one up there? She's not going to stay in there, is she? she? <laughs> it's okay. Out she goes. <laughs> In there. Oh, she'll get some scratch feet in there. Okay, this one's pretty, I'm going to say this one's pretty average size. I just grabbed it out of a group of, hold on, hey, calm down. <laughs> I don't want to hold still, does he? One pound, 1.65 ounces, so just over a pound there. Mm -hmm.
All right, a little bit more predator excitement out here on the pasture. Uh, don't know exactly what we're gonna do. So when I turn those, it seems like every time I try to do something to help these birds out, it ends up hurting them. Uh, when when I turn those when I turned those uh, tractors to keep them out of the wind, it opened up, it lifted up one corner on each one of them, and it's that's the corner that 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 predator went to. So. Um, I'm sure it's a fox or a coyote. It's a, a smaller canine uh, because if it was a if it was a uh, badger, it would have it would have gotten all of them. It'd still be in there with a big fat belly on it. So, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Here's here's one thing we know we're going to do. We're going to uh, we're going to make another trip back out here this evening, probably right before dark. We'll just make a trip out here to see if anything's going on, and uh, we'll we'll make a decision then. I might bring a couple of traps. Uh, maybe that live trap out here and if it's a fox we'll get it if, if it's a coyote it's too big for that live trap but I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see what we got going so uh, Wyoming James Powder River Andrin checking out from the urban micro farm day 38 so this is what we're gonna call operation relocation we're back here with our three little friends from the from the uh, pasture we're going to relocate them in here with our three other friends, our, our veterans, our wounded vets over here. So, um, see how well they'll acclimate back into society. And then Mandy's going to give them a little, little scattering of food. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on them. Uh, hopefully later today we'll get back out here in the garden and uh, let those birds out to, to graze around. Uh, I forgot to mention it this morning, but nothing again has bothered our, our live trap. So got that live trap there and don't have any activity on it again. So I hope we've, we've cured our little raccoon problem here in the garden. So... Uh, We've got that uh, dozer reinforced now too, so we should be fine. 